Welcome back to Doraemon Story of Seasons. Oh, look at the key and the Chiba. Um, so I originally recorded that first and the second episode as one long thing because I was just trying to get through this first, um, the introduction, but I ended up splitting it into two episodes. So I just wanted to say hi, welcome back. And remember in the first episode, we got sucked into this like time warp storm, which I guess is normal in this world, I don't know, uh, considering that Doraemon is a robot cat from the future, so. Uh, we don't have any of his gadgets, they must have gotten lost or stolen by monkeys, I'm not sure. And then we stumbled across uh, West Natura where we met a bunch of people who were like, hey, you have to get jobs even though you're children. Child labor laws, I guess, weren't a thing in this universe, so. Uh, and that's about it. So, yeah. Let's go! Alright. Oh, Sneet, shouldn't you be working with everyone instead of pigging out on yummy-looking food? Uh, okay, let's eat together, everyone. All right. Oh my gosh. The gourmet lips. Oh ho, you guys must be the newcomers. Tommen filled me in. No be in Doraemon, right? What, what do you mean? You're talking to Sneech. Look, he could have told you. How do you know our names? How do you know we're the ones that fit those names? Oh, okay, that's your voice? The name's Cafe. <laughs> you guys in the mood for a little snack Boy, oh, yeah, am I. Thanks, Cafe. I'm not about to turn a gift meal away from my mouth. Why do you gotta say it like that? Just different. Ugh. I couldn't eat another bite. Done already? Well, we can't have your leftovers going to waste. Huh? What about us? Hun, what did I say about overeating? Ugh, got in the act. Sorry about that, you three. That slout's always... This slout's always offering folks free meals, only to swoop in like a vulture on their leftovers. But... I hadn't so much as taken a nibble yet. Same. Huh? Wait, have we met before? Are you the kids that Harmon was talking about? I'm Araya. My husband and I run this restaurant together. Uh, um, Araya, would you mind if I started pitching in with your work around here? Why would you do that? You see, we got sucked into this crazy storm and wound up here. We heard it's a rule here that all kids have to help with work, so I figured I'd do my part. You poor thing. I can't imagine what you've been through. But what drew you to the restaurant? I want to work with someone in irres- <laughs> Wait, no. I want to work with someone responsible like you, Araya. Plus, Cafe's the gourmet is- <laughs> Plus, Cafe's cooking is gourmet, I might add. I don't exactly think I've got my head screwed on as tightly as you seem to think. No, you definitely do. Was my cooking that good? Absolutely. I've had food from all over the world, including all sorts of high-class meals. But I think this is the first time I've had something that really knocked my socks off. Ah, oh, stop. Ah, oh, blush. <laughs> you do look like you've been through the ringer, so why not? What say you, dear? Sure. You're welcome to a seat at our table, Sneech. Thanks so much. I won't let you down. Uh, speaking of which, I'm looking for somewhere that I might be able to help. Me too. I'm afraid we don't have room to take all of you in. Oh man. Sorry guys, didn't mean to pull a tablecloth right out from under you. I'm sure you'll f you guys will find another shop to work with, though. I'm rooting for ya! Shut up. 
That Sneech sure does care for his friends. It's got me all teary-eyed. He's always getting things his way. He always gets things his way. There's nothing we can do about it, Nobi. Why don't we focus on looking for somewhere else? Suppose you're right. Alrighty then, see you guys later. Feel free to come back for some food anytime. We'll be waiting to see you again. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Alright, next on our tour is the clinic. This way. I have a favor to ask. Would it be right? Alright if I helped out around here? I suppose I don't mind. Hmm. I only hope you can keep up. So you chose to work here, Sue? Oh, Nobi, the Raimon. I'm in the middle of asking if they'd let me as we speak. Whoops. So, there's some kind of kids who showed up with Sue? Heard about you from Harmon. You with the glasses must be Nobi, and the blue raccoon dog must be Doraemon. Blue what now? I'm not a raccoon dog, okay? I'm a robot cat. A cat? You certainly don't look like any cat I've ever seen. Huh. Mind if I pet you a bit? Oh, that's so rude. You look smooth, but you're fluffy. And those whiskers are hard as steel. How are you a cat? But you're no raccoon dog either. Not that I've actually seen one. What breed are you, anyway? I told you, I'm a robot cat! Dr. Regis. Ugh. <laughs> I'm Dr. Regis. I practice medicine here. Come see me if you ever get injured, yeah? <sighs> and I'm the clinic's nurse, Serena. Say, Sue, we won't hold it against you if you want to work. If you want to find somewhere else to work. I'm with Nobi on this one. No, no. <laughs> We'd love to have her. Plus, we have experimental meds to test. Right, Serena? Shh. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I... I'm kidding. That was a joke. But you're serious about the job? Serious as a heart attack. We are the only clinic in town, after all. Us two can only do so much. If I can be of some help, then I would be happy to work here. Then it's settled. Nice to have you, Sue. Thanks so much. I won't let you down. And you too, Serena. Likewise. Hmm? What's got your frock in a bunch, Serena? Nothing. I have some errands I need to run, so I'll be off. I wonder why she looked so angry. Was it something I said? She's usually so friendly. She might just be nervous. Anyway, no need to pay it any mind. Oh, whatever you say. If Sue's gonna work here, I'd love to work here too. Make it three! Nah, we really only need one help around here. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. Now then, Sue. You can start tomorrow. See you bright and early. Yes, sir. I think I'll have a look around town in the meantime. You wanna hang out with me? She can't. You haven't found a place to help out at yet. That's true. Guess I'll have... go have another look around. Good luck! See you later! Alright, now let's go check out the smithy this way. Hello, is anyone home? Hey, Blake, we've got customers. Then why don't you go see them, Dad? You talking back, boy? Get out there and greet them now. Friggin' oh, fine. Hey, welcome. Hmm? Oh, you guys must be the kids Harmon was talking about. Nobi and Doraemon, right? That's us. Nice to meet ya. A pleasure. Same here. Sure. Hey, Dad, looks like we've got some new folks in town. Huh? Who are they? 
Oh, some run a raccoon dog. I'm not a raccoon dog! I'm Smitty. I run the Smitty here. Kind of a tongue twister, I know. Man, running a Smitty sure looks like a cool gig. I work here too. Name's Blake. He's only about halfway to becoming a blacksmith, though. Hmm. And I don't plan on being a fully-fledged blacksmith. Ever. Alright, you little brat. Why should I anyway? Excuse me, I'm looking for a place to work and, um... Do you guys ever find yourselves feeling short around on manpower here? Little... Do you guys ever find yourselves feeling short on manpower around here? Hmm. No, I can't help you out there. What? Why not? With those stick-thin legs and arms of yours, you'd never make it as a blacksmith. And what about my bodaciously blue bod? There's something off about you. There's no good either. You're no good either. Huh? There's nothing off about me. I mean, he does have a point, Doroman. You look a... Ugh! You are kind of weird looking. There's nothing weird about me! You guys are rude! Well, if you ever need anything forged, feel free to drop by. You bet. Thanks. There's something off about you, he says. And with a straight face, no less. Grumble later, Doraemon. We're off. See you guys later. Till next time, Nobi. See ya. Huh? Where are Sue and Sneech? They found places to work. Oh, that's great news. I know just the place to introduce you guys next, then. And where's that? Oi. This way! Oi. Wait, isn't this the beach? He and I! <laughs> yep, we've got both the beach and some mountains here. But our next stop is this place here. It's the tackle shop. Yes. Let's hurry and check it out. Wait, Nobi. Yes. What? So this is the tackle shop. Wonder what the owner is like. Excuse me. Who's there? Uh, hello. M my name is Nobi Nobi. You can call me Nobi. And I'm Doraemon. Nobi and Doraemon. Uh, you're the ones Harmon is talking about. So, what's up? You wanna fish? This is a tackle shop, right? It's actually my house, but since I've got all this fishing gear around... Wow, I bet even the most hardcore fishing enthusiasts don't hold a candle to you. Well, if you have any interest in fishing, feel free to come and see me anytime. Hey, do you think I could help you out with your work around here? No. Oh, uh, why not? I don't need any help. I'm fine on my own. You never get lonely? Not at all. Are we done here? Yeah. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Dang. Hmm. She certainly is cooler than a cucumber roll. Let's go somewhere else, Nobi. Yeah. Now that you mention it, Carmen and Big G aren't here. That's because you always leap before you look. Where'd they go off to? For now, let's head back to Harmon's place. Oh, there you guys are! Hey, Nobi, we've been waiting for you. What's up? The last shop we're heading to is the carpenter's place. Or at least we're supposed to. But Harmon said we had to wait for you two slowpokes. Oh, sorry about that. Wanna get going now then? I already told Big G where it is, so why don't you why don't the three of you head over there together? Done and done. Alright, let's go! Get a load of this place here. Looks like a carpenter's, huh? That settles it. 
I'm gonna work here. A job involving some heavy lifting sounds good to me. Hmm, I wish I could say the same. No, but let's tag along for now. Hmm, yeah, let's. Excuse me! Is anyone even here? Hello? Of course they are. They're probably in the back. Ugh. Uh, excuse me, um... Hi, Carpenter! Make me one! Thanks! Big Chi, you've gotta introduce yourself first. Duh, I know that! My name is Takashi... Oh, Takashi Gura. I'm pretty confident in my stamina. I know who you are. Heard about you from Harmon. Which makes you two Nobi and Doraemon. He does know us. Um, Pent! I want to help out with your carpentry work. Please let me be your apprentice. Do as you please. Alright! Uh, um, me too! Me three! No. One apprentice is enough. Aw, oh, come on. Sorry about that, guys. Real shame. Ah. Uh, now what are we supposed to do? Go check around town some more. I'm gonna hang here for a bit. Man, even Big G found a job before I did. Oh well, let's keep at it, Nobi. You know, I don't think there's a single place left to help out at. I guess maybe there were just too many of us. Still, I'm kind of jealous that everyone else found somewhere to work. Don't you have some kind of gadget that could help me find a job to do? You think there's a gadget for everything? Aw, oh, come on! You can at least look! I'm telling you, there's no such thing. Oh god. Who's causing all this ruckus outside my house? This guy. Ugh, oh, it's you two. What are you doing here? Well, you see, we've been out looking for a place where we can pitch in. But we've come up empty-handed. You there! The blue one! What were you up to? Oh, I was just, uh, looking for the right gadget is all. A likely story. You're coming with me. I'm what now? Doraemon? Man, where did Doraemon get dragged off to? Hmm. You aren't hiding anything else. <laughs> you aren't hiding anything else, I take it. I think I hear them over there. Better go take a look. Little Boo Bear, you're stuck with me until I'm sure you're no menace. Blue what now? I'm not a bear, okay? I'm a robot cat. A cat, huh? All the more suspicious. Doraemon! Are you okay, buddy? Nobi! You came to save me! Doraemon here is going to work for me so I can keep an eye on him. You're kidding! What about me, then? You can buzz off and find someplace else. I only need one of yous. <laughs> you can't be serious. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, pal. Mm. What do they all have that I don't? What do people want from me? I'm sick of searching. I'm just gonna head back to Har Harmon's place. Oh, hey, Nobi. Welcome back. <laughs> Found a nice place where you can lend a hand, have you? Actually, all of my friends found work to do, but I came up short. That's so. Must be rough when you can't just help at home like we do. Aww. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Don't fret so much, dear. You'll get wrinkles. Just relax. Hey, do you do farm work too, Granny Robbie? I sure do. People say I shouldn't, but I can't leave it all to Harmon. And I keep telling her to take it easy. 
You're no spring chicken, Gran. Hey, uh, do you think I might be able to help out around here? You? Around here? Hmm. Oh, you know what? We've actually got a second farm to tend to. You have two? And you're just now telling us? It's too much for the two of us, but you could have it on you could have at it if you want. Are you sure? Of course I am. It'd be a major help. Would it ever? It would mean so much if you could fix it up again. Well, count me in. Wow, me. A real farmer. Come on, I'll show you around. Follow me. Y'all just now thought of that? Here we are at last. Nobi, your new farm. Wow, it's so spacious. Like space! And that house is empty, so you have free reign to use it however you'd like. Dude! What? Why is- what? Why aren't they all just staying in this house then? <laughs> My very own house? Seriously? It's already furnished with basic everyday essentials like a bed and shelf. Dude. Just make sure you don't sell them. I can only imagine the mess you'd be in if you did. Otherwise, the space is yours to decorate and use as you see fit. Wow. Thanks so much, Harmon. Now then. It's time to christen your new farm with a name that screams... Nobi. A uh, new name, huh? Yep. Since you'll be living here, it's only right that you get to decide what to call it. But don't forget that farm will be added to whatever name you give it. Easy. Perhaps. Howdy ho! Howdy ho farm, huh? Now that's a name worth coming home to. I think that'll do it for today, Nobi. So, I'll be heading home now. Oh, I guess I ought to ask about how to do basic farm work, huh? I don't know the first thing about farm work. Can you teach me? You bet. Let's head back to my farm and then we can go over the basics. Follow me. Oh, hey guys. You're back? Did you decide to help out, Nobi? Yep, I'm borrowing some farmland from Harmon to take care of. Wow, that's incredible, Nobi. Heh, <laughs> aw shucks. Harmon's here to teach me how to work a farm. Sounds good, I'll watch. Okay, let the lesson begin. First, let me give you this. What is it? It's a howdy ho! You can start off by using it to till this brown patch of soil right here. Find a spot you want to till and press the A button. Go ahead, try tilling this whole patch. Okay, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> That's gonna be real annoying. Nice, you did a wonderful job. This part you just tilled has a root in it now. What does that mean? The soil needs a ridge before you can sow seeds in it, otherwise they have nowhere to grow. Bingo! And on that note, I'll show you how to plant seeds next. Teach me, oh farming master, the sooner I can get a crop of watermelons going, the better. Hold up, Nobi! I hate to burst your bubble, but it isn't the right season for watermelons. Huh? What do you mean, season? Watermelons are a summer crop. If you plant them in any other season, they'll just wither up and die. And be careful, because if the season changes, they'll wither no matter when you planted them. Ugh, that's so watermill lame. It's spring, so a good crop to plant would be turnips or cabbage. Turnips would be nice when they. Let's go with those. Okay, turnips it is. Right then, here are some turnip seeds to get you started. Seeds for spring crops are in red bags, so it's easy to remember. Summer crops are green, autumn crops are yellow, and winter crops are blue. Don't forget. I would have done spring green and summer red, just saying. Fits a little better. I can tell what season a crop is for by the color of the bag, got it. 
It's also written on the item description, so make sure to read them. Alrighty, let's plant a seed in the soil with the ridge we just made. See the hoe in the lower right slot? Uh-huh. That's the item you're currently carrying. In this case, it's a howdy hoe. To plant a seed, you need to be holding it first. Let's start by swapping the hoe for the seeds. Alright. This is getting a little... Too much. Alright. Go ahead, give it a shot. Perfect! Nicely done! I'm surprised to hear that this is your first time. Now you need to water it. Here! Now this part, I know. I grab the water can, stand in front of the seed, I plant it, and blah blah blah. What would that be? First, make sure you're holding the water can. Dude. Look at the water can in the lower right. You see that black bar that wasn't there before? That's the amount of water you've got left in your water can. Go find a place to draw some water from and use it to replenish your water can. While holding the water can, stand in front of the water source and press A button. Okay. I should not have done this tutorial on like Nobody ever said farming was easy, but boy, is it ever worth the trouble. You'll see. Huh? Well, if it ain't Nobi, you find a place to help out yet? Oh, looks like everyone's gone home already. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna be farming... Farmer from here on out. What? As in tilling and harvesting and taking care of animals? You? Wonder if he can handle something like that. That's amazing, Nobi. <laughs> Harmon, Doraemon, I'm gonna farm like nobody's ever farmed before. You'll see. That's the spirit, buddy. Is he really up to the job, though? Nobi here gets bored with stuff pretty quickly. Harmon showed me the ropes. I'll be fine. He even planted some turnips. <laughs> yeah. I've just got to spend the next five days taking care of them while they grow. <laughs> I can't wait to see how they turn out. Soda. Oh, that's right. I forgot to teach you about harvesting crops. I guess the fastest way would be to let you harvest some of the, my own crops as an example. Now there's an idea. Hop to it, pal. Sounds good, thanks. So how exactly do I harvest a crop? Stand in front of it, fully grown crop, and press the X button. Yours. Alright guys, stand back and be amazed by my farming prowess as I harvest these turnips. And what a nice job you did! Well done, Nobi. <laughs> it's no big deal or anything. Now, you can take that crop you harvested and give it to someone as a gift. Oh, I can? Yeah, put the item you want to give to them in your hands, and then press the X button to gift it. How about giving that turnip from earlier to someone as a present? You sure? Well, I guess I'll give this to Sue then. I can have it? You sure, Nobi? Of course, anything for you, Sue. This is one way to turn up the dial on our friendship, Nobi. Ooh. And with that, my explanation on how to do form work is over. Thanks a million, Harmon. Oh, I should probably give the, you back those tools you lent me. No need. They're yours now. Really? My very own farm tools? They might be a little rusty, so if you need something nicer, they can fix you up at the smithy. The smithy, huh? Also, you can get seeds at the general store. Got it! You're a real whiz, Harmon. Cool. Guess we know where everyone's gonna be helping out now. Big G's at the smithy. Sue's at the clinic. Oh. No, he's not. He's at the carpenters. Doraemon's at Ryan's, and I'm at the restaurant. And I'm a newly minted farmhand. 
I'm glad you each found a place to call your own. Don't be strangers now. Mm. Nice to meet you. Oh, that reminds me. Where's everyone staying anyway? <laughs> I moved into an abandoned house on the farm. Pins let me crash at his place. Cafe and Araya are letting me stay with them. <laughs> Serena said it was okay for me to stay at her place. Gotcha. And Ryan's letting me borrow a spare room. Don't forget your good guest manners, guys. Of course. Right then. If you need anything, just holler, okay? Thanks, Harmon. Let's call it a day, everyone. Ugh. Wonder how much longer I'm gonna have to live this old-timey lifestyle. Man, I hope this all blows over soon. Enough complaining, you two. Anyway, I'll be helping out at the clinic starting tomorrow, so I have to go study up. Same here. Me too. Bye for now, Nobi. Okay, see ya. Oh, before I forget, there's some really important stuff I need to go over, Nobi. If you've still got time, I figured I could give you a rundown on stamina. Fine. Sure, tell me all about it. Stamina? Yep, when doing something strenu doing strenuous farm work, there's nothing more important to be aware of. Now that you mention it, you do look a little tuckered out, Nobi. Press the minus button to open the menu. There's a page in where you're in there where you can check your stamina. What? I have to check? Oh my god. You can switch between menu pages by pressing the L and R buttons. I don't even know what I'm talking about. We're on the status page now. Yep, looks like your stamina's drained quite a bit. No, it's not. What? Small wonder, given all your hard work. Using tools really puts a strain on your stamina. You know, I was feeling a little bit tired just now. That's your body's way of saying that it's time to refuel with a bite to eat. Such as? Oh, I know. You're welcome to have some of this bread Grandma gave me. No way, really? Boo. Yep, and you can bake your own if you have a kitchen or buy it all at the restaurant. You can use the A button to eat any food you're holding and restore your stamina. I don't want to eat it, dude. I want to save it. Yep, looks like you've restored a healthy chunk of stamina. I feel more energized already! From now on, make sure you get some food in your system whenever your energy starts to dip. What if I wait so long that I shoot right past tired to, like, mega exhausted? If you run out of stamina, you'll collapse and wind up at the clinic. Keep an eye on your condition to make sure that doesn't happen, Nobi. Got it. Let's head back to your farm for now. Okay. I'll come with. You've got trees, weeds, and rocks all over, right? Oh, like this one? Yeah, they're really getting in the way. They sure do. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but how would you feel about cleaning them up for me? You want me to do it? No complaints here. Harmon's been a big help, so we might as well return the favor. Cleaning up will give you more room to grow crops, too. Hmm, you make a good point. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks. So, it bears mentioning that cleaning up requires tools. I'll give you what you need and explain things from there. I'm not. Nah, just hand them all over. Aren't we confident? Okay then, here you go. An axe for chopping down trees and a hammer for breaking up rocks. Give them a whirl whenever. Ugh, there's something I forgot to mention! And what's that? Ryan set things up so you can ship any items you place in the crate on your farm, Nobi. My crate can do that? Yep, let me explain. To sell any crops you harvest on the farm, you have to ship them. Bring anything you want to ship to the crate and press the Y button to send it all off. Might as well try it out while Doraemon's here. I'll give you a turn up and you could ship it out. Okay. Oh my 
god, man. Wow, you shipped them all out just now, huh? The Y button lets you pick up how many crops to ship, while the A button just ships everything. If you want to pick and choose how many crops you send out, the Y button's for you. And if you make a mistake, just press the X button to open up the crate. Yep, that's the turnip I put in. There you go. You can use the ZR button to switch between the crate and your backpack. This is the inside of your backpack. Mm-hmm. Choose an item with the A button and use the ZL and ZR buttons to swap between the bag and the crate. If there's a spot open, press the A button to move there. And if I make a mistake, it'll go back to my backpack. Yep, that's right. I'll pick everything up at 6 p.m., so make sure to have everything ready by then. You'll get money for anything Doraemon picks up at 6. And I can use the money I earn to buy seeds and tools for the farm. Alright, this so much. Feel free to throw roadside plants and any bugs you catch in there, too. For now, just put everything you want to sell in there. Yes. Got it. Don't put anything too weird in there, though. It's my job to go through it all, you know. Gotcha. Oh, it's 6 p.m. Pick up time. Yes. Gotta run, guys. I think that does it for the basics. Time sure flies when you're talking farm work, huh? Arigato. Yeah. It went by so fast. Thanks for taking the time to show me the ropes, Harmon. Don't mention it. Let's take a look inside the house while we're at it. Oh my god. Can we just... It's a little cozy, isn't it? At least you have a bed. Don't be ungrateful. Huh, <laughs> a little bit. You can always get the carpenter to make it bigger for you. Oh yeah? You'll need a lot of stone and wood, though. You can store items in this chest, too. Wow, really? Yep, open her up and take a look. And here's the inside. It's empty right now, so feel free to throw some items in there. Yep, storing items in your box is super handy. Your backpack's pretty small, after all. Did you notice there's a box outside, too? It's next to the mailbox. You can't move it, but it holds the same stuff the indoor storage box does. Use both, and you'll be managing items like a pro in no time. I think I've got a handle on it. Hmm? Huh? Is someone here? Buh? What are you doing here, Doraemon? <laughs> uh, well, you know, I was just a little worried how this farm talk might be going over your head. So I figured, hey, might as well check up on my bestest pal in the whole wide world. Oh, hey, Harmon. Didn't realize you were here. Yep, I was just explaining a few things about the house. It took a while, but we're pretty much all wrapped up now. Yes, I might as well call it a day then. Yeah, just look at the time. I better hit the hay soon, too. Bedtime? Already? What kind of nightmare schedule? The farm life ain't easy, huh? You don't want to get... The farm life ain't easy, huh? If you don't get to bed early, you'll be in for a rough morning. Guess that's just the way it is. Hop into bed then. Chop chop! You'll feel totally recharged in the morning. What are you, my mom? Fine. To sleep, face the button and press the A button. Just sh go. Early to bed, early to rise. If you go to bed late, you'll feel tired the next day and wake up late too. I better not catch you noodling around in the dark of night, Nobi. Oh, and one more thing. Ugh. We better make sure to preserve everything you've done on the farm. Press the minus button to open the menu, then switch to the system screen with the R button to save. Make sure to get your beauty rest. Do I make myself clear, pal? Crystal. Okay then, nighty night, Nobi. Sleep well, guys. You too. Jeez, that was the longest first day of my life. Well, that was a really long first day. Um, thanks for watching, if you have, this far, and the rest of the episodes are not going to be this long, unless, uh, there's more scenes like what was happening before and I just can't, like, skip ahead, I guess, but, um, it's pretty interesting so far, it's also, like, really irritating how they over-explain everything, but I think it's because 
it's probably like a children's game more than anything, um, which is kind of interesting because this is such an old manga, but like, I'm not sure like culturally what this is like in Japan, for instance, versus here. Like I haven't, I've heard of it before, but it's not really like a big thing in my life. So I don't know, maybe it's mostly kids playing, but um, yeah, it's definitely a story of seasons game in certain ways and then uh, just a little different too, but I really like the artwork and how it looks so far. It's really aesthetically pleasing and it kind of looks storybookish. I don't know. I like it. It's kind of like watercolor art and then uh, you've got like the sharper like like a, an anime over here like with the animations and stuff and then of course how they act. If you like anime, you can't you can't resist liking this kind of game because of all the reactions and how they do stuff. It's just really great. Um, anyway, so I guess tune in for the next one. We'll see what happens next. This was a really long episode, so so I'll end it here. Thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. And I'll see you on Howdy Ho Farm in the next one. Bye.